Um, well, we actually, there was two options, zip lining and the uh, rafting down the Chattahoochee. We did the um, rafting. Um, it was a lot of fun. We were the wild group. We got yep. to choose wilder mouth. Uh -huh. um, so we definitely flipped on one of the rapids. Um, we, um, but we joined two other school districts. Um, we're from Phoenix City Schools. We joined Russell County and Muskogee County. Um, so we got to incorporate a lot of teamwork with our surrounding school systems as well. Right. We also, over the three-day period, um, two days before this, we actually went through a professional development with all of the other schools, Muskogee County and Russell County. Um, and we learned about the history of the Chattahoochee. We learned about some history of Columbus and Phoenix City. So it was really um, fun getting to all the different aspects, all the different um, inventors and painters that are from the area. Um, I learned a lot of things that I didn't know beforehand. But becoming more knowledgeable on stuff, like it's at a kindergarten level, it's really hard to incorporate um, some of the stuff that we learned, but given lesson plans and stuff like that and collaborating with other teachers from um, the different school districts um, will benefit our students later on. Right. So we got a chance to collaborate with, you know, not only our fellow teachers, but other school like I said, learning just about those things and as first grade in kindergarten, just of course we don't have some of those in-depth in knowledge or in-depth lesson plans, but we can still incorporate those things with our students as well. So it was a great benefit and we got to go whitewater right yeah. <laughs> When you think of a summer PD, you're like, oh, there goes our summer. But no, this one was very enjoyable. Yeah. Um, I looked forward to it the next day. It's very lax and you get to enjoy yourself and have fun, lots of hands-on things to do. Mm -hmm. And um, you get to, you know, go out, have fun, you get to communicate with you know your fellow um, educators around the district and you get to enjoy nice free food and have a good time on the river so I definitely yes. would recommend it. Thanks Troy. Thanks Troy. <laughs> there are so many different benefits um, of course, the educational aspect, you can't doubt that. Um, all of the things that they're learning, uh, even today, listening to the teachers talk about the history of Columbus that they learned about through the Columbus Museum and the activities that they did there, and the National Infantry Museum, as well as the Civil War Naval Museum. That was amazing to hear them talk about what they've learned. But I think what this real day is really about, or what these days are really about, is bringing Muskogee County teachers, Russell County teachers, and Phoenix City teachers together to learn together, to grow together, and to network. Uh, I think sometimes teachers get in their classrooms in their own little world, so it's great to learn some different things just from people that are 15 minutes away and you won't have another opportunity to meet them because we're always at work. If you missed it this year, all I can say is try to sign up early because the slots are limited and the teachers that were here this year were doing science next year and they've already said they're coming back for science so I'm going to tell the truth they were like we might not tell our other colleagues how great it was so we can get an opportunity to come back again next year. So um, if you missed it you really missed a treat. It was great fun, great learning and great people so come on out to Educator Day. Well anytime we can celebrate our teachers and what they invest in our kids on a daily basis. Anytime we can celebrate that, let them know we appreciate them and what they do, that's great in and of itself. But this is special because it bridges two states together. And in education, that's such a rare thing. There, there aren't a lot of, um, there isn't a lot of collaboration state to state. So we just really enjoy being able to uh, spend time with the teachers from Alabama, our teachers from Georgia, and get ideas from each other and work together. It's just, it's phenomenal. I think it's a, it's, it's a huge benefit for the community. You know, it, if the students win, then it's a win. And uh, what this is doing is this is helping our teachers get ideas to, uh, to do their job in innovative and creative ways, which is gonna engage the kids, which is always a good idea. Uh, come out because you won't regret it. You're going to get two days of, of fabulous professional development and then you get to raft and or zip line and it's, it's, it's a great day. Teamwork makes indeed the dream work. So pulling all of the resources together. We have again Troy University which is spearheaded of course with uh, the Vice Chancellor Dr. David White um, along with all of the superintendents, um, assigning chairpersons within their districts pulled together and then um, something miraculous happened because we involved the Columbus Museum, we involved the Civil uh, War Naval Museum, we involved uh, Fort Mitchell Historic Site as well as the National Infantry Museum. 
So all of those resources pulled in together, uh, taking advantage of what our community has to offer, be it on the Alabama side or the Georgia side. It's a collaborative effort that makes um, the learning for our students greater, more rewarding, and has a real role in preparing them for college, career, and life.